And finally tonight, among the first responders on 9-11, Catholic priests who rushed to the scenes of tragedy to provide relief. Tonight, we look back on the role these spiritual fathers played on that faithful day. Correspondent Mark Irons joins us now. Mark. Tracy, I spoke to two priests who were Navy chaplains at the time. The stories of priests aren't often told when we reflect back on 9-11, but what they provided was invaluable. Unforgettable images from September 11, 2001 have been seared into our memory. If you look closely among some of the chaotic snapshots, you can find a sign of hope. Near the World Trade Center, a priest ministering to people amid a field of debris. And as the Pentagon burns in the background, a priest prays on his knees, providing words of comfort. God is with you. Even in this tragedy, the Lord is with you. Father Carl Lindblad, a native New Yorker, found himself reassuring many people of this in Manhattan on 9-11. I learned years ago that sometimes you can't fix things. You just got to cry with the people where they are right now and pray to God. An active duty Navy chaplain at the time, Father Carl stayed near Ground Zero for nine days, providing spiritual nourishment. Outside the nation's capital, Navy chaplain Father Aidan Logan went to the Pentagon following the attack and walked up to the crash. That's when it really struck me how violent this uh, explosion was. He says his Roman collar was a welcome sight for many. Everyone seemed to be glad to see me, you know, and even if we just exchanged a few words and they, uh, you know, to a man or woman, they asked me to pray for them. And one image helps Father Aiden remember no matter what, God is always with us. And that's why we look at the crucifix, you know, and see, you know, that's, that's the suffering of all mankind. Another priest I spoke with said he still finds it difficult to recount the experiences he had on 9-11, but they all agree that day 19 years ago marked a profound moment in their priesthood. Tracy. Mark, thank you so much for that story. Correspondent Mark Irons reporting for us tonight.